Welcome back to another episode. So WordPress 4.7.4 has just been released and all your websites should be automatically updating or if not, you can check in the back end of your site. So what's changed in the latest version? Well, if we go to the WordPress.org website and take a look at their uh, news page, you can see that after almost 60 million downloads of WordPress 4.7, they're pleased to announce an immediate availability of a maintenance release, which is 4.7.4. So this is not being labeled a security release. This is just a maintenance release. So this release contains 47 maintenance fixes and enhancements and includes some incompatibility issues with the Chrome version uh, that's coming up soon with the visual editor. And there's also some inconsistencies with the media handling and some further improvements on the REST API. So the REST API, if you uh, have been following for the past couple of months, is a new uh, feature within the core of WordPress. And it's something that adds a lot of functionality and robust features, but there's been some concerns in the past. They've made a lot of code revisions, refactored a lot of the code base and made it much more secure and they're continuously working on it. So that's a great thing. All right, so we can see more information at these other sites that I'll show you in a second, but I just wanna show you first, log into your website, and you should be able to see if you're running WordPress 4.7.4. And if you're not, you can always just check the update section here, and you can force updates. You can always just click on check again, and it'll tell you if you have any updates in the waiting. So it'll let you know that you already have the most recent version uh, installed. All right, so let's take a look at what else was done with this update. In total, if you look further into the version release on the co codex uh, section of the WordPress website, this uh, release fixes 47 bugs, and you can see a full list of all the files that have been changed, where code has been revised. I did another video that shows you how to analyze the code changes, and I'll put a link to that in the cards in the upper right corner, so check that out. Uh, but this tells you the files where they made the revisions uh, for this current release. Again, if you want to see this full list, just go to the codex.wordpress.org uh, forward slash version underscore 4.7.4. And then uh, we can also look at the REST API, the changes here. Uh, so basically, this is just some bug fixes. Again, this is a maintenance release. Uh, this version of WordPress is not a security release. Um, so this is what has been uh, resolved with the REST API issues with dates and specifically the daylight savings time. There were some code logic issues that needed to be uh, rectified and resolved. And uh, the developers at WordPress have been hard at work making sure that that took place. You can get some more information about this uh, REST API uh, bug fix over at the core.track.wordpress.org forward slash ticket forward slash 40136. And it's reported by uh, this gentleman over here, and you can get some more information there. So what else was resolved? The image pop-up toolbar uh, does not support the newest upcoming version of Chrome. So uh, this is most likely, as stated over here, probably a issue with the actual Chrome browser and not with WordPress itself, but it's something that impacts the, um, the WP editor. So this is just a bug fix for that to deal with the Chromium issue. And you can get some more information by clicking on some of the links that are featured here. Okay, so this is for the image pop-up toolbar that does not support the Chrome beta. And since Chrome is one of the most widely used browsers, you know, it's important to make sure that, you know, WordPress uh, core and themes and plugins function properly with the Chrome browser. All right, so the next issue that was resolved was a broken video and audio thumbnails because of corrupted blob metadata. So this is just some information about, you know, some issues with the uh, the thumbnails within this certain part of um, uploading into the WordPress website itself. This resolves that bug fix, specifically with MP3 files. When they're uploaded, they are split. And, you know, there's some issues with that that have been resolved. And then if you want to see all the different branches of 4.7, you can go here to this link. And I'll put a link to this page as well as the other URLs that I I showed you before in the description section below. And this will show you all the different branches of the 4.7 uh, release cycle. Spend some time, you know, taking a look at the code. If you're a WordPress developer or an aspiring developer, uh, take a look at the code, see the changes. You can learn a lot by analyzing how 
uh, the WordPress software itself works. But this is just an update, a quick update on the latest release of WordPress. It's out there. It's already um, updating millions of websites around the world. And it's just a maintenance release. You know, no one's announced any major uh, issues. So just rest assured that this is just a continuous improvement of the WordPress software itself. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. Just wanted to make sure everyone is aware that their websites will be getting updated to the latest version of WordPress. And you should always take a backup of your database and files. There's various ways to do that with plugins or a manual way to do it. And you could just, um, you know, make sure that you always have a recent backup just in case. There should be no issues. Uh, but just in case you never know, you may need to revert to a backup. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.